In this short video, we're gonna quickly look at uh, useful tools that would help you create a good quality uh, decorating job. Um, much easier and faster, to be fair. First off, with regards to preparing, um, sanding the surface down is always worth um, and advisable to wear a mask just in case you do inhale any dust. But at the same time, you might want to scrape the surface and remove any debris from that surface. So making sure you use a scraper, which is a rigid version of what some people might think is a filling knife. So it's rigid, whereas a filling knife itself is actually flexible. And this allows the filler to be pushed into the hole and make sure that you get a, more of a permanent fix. So filling knife like this one, which is an inch and a half, really good for small indented surfaces. Whereas if you're looking for quality of finishes, you might be consider using a continental filling blade, which means you've got a variety of different strengths, regardless of where you position your fingers. So a combination of the filling knives is really useful um, in size and in flexibility. Now, when it comes to you've already sanded, um, you've created some dust, so using a dusting brush to, to remove all the dust from the surface is great. A uh, vacuum cleaner can be even better. So once you've actually removed all the dust, give the surface a good clean down with the cloth. It just means there's no uh, risk of getting any dust on the freshly painted surface just after you've finished. So when it comes to preparing the paint though, um, it's always advisable, and we do write it on all the cans, to stir before use. So if you have a, uh, a large, either a 10 litre or a five litre can, use a large stirrer, preferably a flat bottom with holes in if possible. And what that will do is it will stir the paint from the bottom to the top to ensure you get evenness of color and consistency of, uh, of products when you're actually applying it. However, if you're using a smaller tin, like a litre or a two and a half, then you might as well just use a smaller version instead. It will do exactly the same job, but it just saves, saves on the mess, to be fair. You've also got decorator's cork. Now, once you've prepared, cleaned all the surface, your decorator's cork is the one that you would use where the skirting maybe meets the wall or where you've got two adjacent internal corners. That finishes off the job of the preparation, so you've actually got a fantastic job ready to paint. And now for application. When it comes to, to painting and decorating, it's always best to have a good set of tools. So a range of different size brushes is really useful, whether it's a large brush for cutting in with or painting large surfaces such as doors and larger walls or smaller brushes for skirtings and door frames. If, however, you're going to be painting windows, then a set of sash brushes are really useful because they're designed for painting sashes on windows. So perfect for uh, cutting in really quickly. If you're going to be painting ceilings and walls, um, it's always best and faster to actually use an extended roller pole or extendable roller pole. This can be attached to virtually any roller um, and it means you can reach even over furniture and it's actually faster even when you're applying paint to the walls themselves. Now, if you are painting ceilings, it's always a good idea to wear a pair of safety specs. It does make sure that you don't get paint in your eyes. Now, when you do apply your paint, never apply it directly from the can. Once you've stirred it, always make sure you decant it into a paint kettle. Now, smaller paint kettles are perfect for smaller items, such as doors, frames, and skirtings. Whereas if you're cutting in walls and ceilings, then decant those into a larger paint kettle because you'll need more paint to use. Then we can actually select the right roller based on the roller type that we're gonna need. And then off you go. It's a nice, easy, fast job to complete. However, once you've painted windows, and any surface that may get a little bit of paint on, you can always use a, uh, a paint scraper or a window scraper to actually remove any excess paint from, from the glass. It means that you've actually got a nice crisp job to leave for your customers. So the final thing once you've finished decorating is to clean all your tools up. And one really good and cool way to speed the process up, because nobody likes cleaning tools out, is to actually use um, a roller scraper, just like this one. So all you need to do is pop that into your tray and then you can scrape out all the paint nice and easily from the roller, just rotating it round. It can actually half the amount of time to clean the roller and at the same time, half the amount of water you need to do the same job. 